In this video, I'll be showing you three weird ways to make coins in FIFA 21. I've already done a video on this, so if you want to go and check that out, just click up here and it will take you to that video. Let's, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. And if we got over, I don't know, over 1,500 likes, big like target, I'll do another one of these. Let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, off the back of me doing my trading to 1 million coins series, I've just been messing about with different trading methods. And like I said at the start, I've done a video on this before. That video did very, very well. So I thought, why not do another one of these videos where I just go through just come through with literally like three easy methods but they're sort of a bit weird as well so the first one what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping over to staff now i wouldn't recommend any of these methods as a long-term solution however if you're wanting something They'll make you maybe a couple thousand coins, maybe even make you over 10,000, 20,000 coins. That's not really too much effort. This video is perfect for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here and go over to gold. We're going to go over to the nation and we're going to go over to France and we're going to go over to the Premier League. Now, if we take a look at French managers from the Premier League, as you'll be able to see on the market at the minute, these are going for an average of around 4,000 coins. 3,700 is the, that one will probably get bought up very, very soon. However, you can see here, 4,000 coins, right? However, if we go over to the market and we go over to just gold French, not Premier League, you'll be able to see that these are actually going for around 2,800 coins, 3,000 coins. There are thereabouts. So you can get them for as cheap as 2,700. So I'm just going to pick up a manager, right, at 2,700, and I'm going to chuck him into the club. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the consumables tab, and we are going to go over to Manager League. And once we're in Manager League, we're going to go over to the Premier League, and we are going to set this up like this. And would you look at that? You can buy a manager league for 200 coins. So bear in mind, right? We spent 2,700 coins on a manager, 200 coins on the manager league, bringing that total price to 2,900 coins. Yeah. If we go back over to the staff, don't forget that if we go over to gold, we go over to French, and then we go over to the Premier League. These on the market are currently going for 3.7k. Even though we can actually build one of these for 2,900 coins, and then we can actually sell that on for say 3.6k 3.5k making us a profit of like 500 coins per card now when you watch this video is the best time to do it providing that there's not a lot of views on this video if a lot of people have watched this the price is going to come down for a lot of these however with it being three weird ways to make coins i don't really think it matters too much so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our squad we're just going to go down to credit card fc as you can see right here we're going to take our current manager out by sending him to the club we are going to go and get our french manager who we have just picked up in this montanier i think that's how you pronounce his name then what we're going to do is apply a manager consumer to him go over to the manager league go over to the premier league and there you go we have now got something that is worth 3.5k theoretically and the good thing is with this method is that you can do it as many times as you want to as many times as people are buying you keep going with it if people stop buying you just bring the price down ever so slightly and once he's on the transfer list he will sell on because people can't really be bothered to go through the same process that we've just gone to so We'll see where he's at by the end of this video, so make sure to keep watching just to see if he sells on. But let's move into the second way, well, the second weird way to make coins in FIFA 21. So next up, sticking with a similar fashion of players or managers who have been changed. So for example, that first method, it was a manager whose league had been changed. Now what we're going to take a look at is the position modifier method. Now this is a method which I used to use quite a bit back in FIFA 16. Admittedly, I've not really used it too much anymore. I think that it doesn't really make as many coins as say the shadow method or the hunter method. If you don't know what I'm talking about with that, just go and check the other videos on my channel. There are loads of different videos. I'll go and check my trading to 1 million coin series actually. That'll be perfect for you. So if we go over here, we go over to Soko, we go over to Str striker and we search up on the market as you'll be able to see Sissoko on the market with a striker card on him is going for around 3.8k right however if we take this striker off him and we put this down ever so slightly you will be able to see that he is going for around 3,000 coins maybe even 2,900 coins so with the addition of the striker yeah, it actually increases his value by over a thousand coins now this is a very very good little way to make coins and to be honest it will make you a decent amount of coins if you keep up 
with it. But basically what you need to do is find a player who is used by quite a lot of people. So Soko, for example, people use him in Div Rivals, they use him in Weekend League, whatever it may be. And then what you want to do is basically find how much that card's going for normally or with a position modifier like a striker on them if they start off in cdm strikers perfect or if they start off in striker center mid is perfect because basically what people do here is they'll change the positions of them and put them in different positions and then later on with the custom tactics they'll move the players around so say for example you need chemistry using maybe sissoko might not always get you that chemistry however when you've got a striker on him it makes it 10 times easier. So I've sort of jumped the gun a bit with this method. As you'll be able to see here, I've just managed to snipe myself one in striker at 3,000 coins with a shadow on as well, which will actually increase his price ever so slightly. But like we said, striker on the card will actually make him go for around 3,000, well, 3,600. And then with a shadow on it, it should increase his value the tiniest bit more. Admittedly, there's one here at 3.6k. With it being a Monday, this method won't work as well. This will work better on the weekend when people are playing foot champions or div rivals so you can see straight off the bat that we've managed to get ourselves a deal so 3,000 coins we can list it up at 3.6k 3.7k and we can make ourselves some really really easy coins I'd even bought myself an Alan right here for 5.4k just to show you the method but it doesn't really matter anymore because uh just got ourselves a Sissoko, baby. So boys, jumping over to the store, this method is going to be the silver pack method. Now, I have made a video on this admittedly before, and you can click up here. Is it up here? Yeah, it is up here to go and watch that video if you want to. But I thought I'd do a revised method of this because at the minute, with all the different league SBCs that are out, a lot of them do require silver players, and that's made the price go up for quite a lot of cards. So what you can do is you can come over to the market. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're bothered about losing coins because this is a more long-term method if you've got to this point in the video you may appreciate this method more than some of the other methods in the video because you can make a hell of a lot of coins by doing this and it works very very similar to the bronze pack method however with this method you can actually get yourself better cards so for example straight off the bat we've already got ourselves a card who goes for around 500 coins as you can see right here 450 so if i list this up at 500 coins i'm basically trying to sell the full contents of the pack to basically get my coins back so you can see right here this guy doesn't really go for anything and this is what i was talking about with it being a long-term method if cards don't sell for something you have to keep them in the club because if you don't keep them in the club there's no chance of them ever going up in price so two cards in here are a bit of a dud one because they don't really go for anything. However, if we go over to this bowler, he's going for around 500 coins. So already from the 2,500 that we've spent, we've already made back 1,000 coins before tax. A good thing with the silver pack method in comparison to the bronze pack method as well is that kits, badges do go for a hell of a lot more that are silver because the rarity is just the tiniest bit better. So you can see right here, we've not really been too lucky with this pack. All What we'll just have to do is just get rid of all these contracts. Admittedly, you could list them up for the hour mark but i don't really feel like sitting here and waiting for a kit to potentially sell on for 200 coins when it probably won't sell on for 200 coins so i'm just going to keep all of this 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 i'm going to keep all this in the club and I'm going to move into the next one. And this is what I was talking about with potentially losing coins. Admittedly, in a lot of these packs, you might not make good, good profit. But every now and again, you will find yourself maybe an inform card or a kit that goes for 5,000 coins. For example, Orlando Pirates from the South African League, their kit goes for 5,000 coins. So if we carry on coming through here and we go over to Vukatovic, he may be needed for a league SBC. And as you'll be able to see here, he's from the Belgian League. And for whatever reason, he's going for, well, one point. 9k so that makes our job a hell of a lot easier because we can list this up at say 1.3k and we're already 1.3k back from the 2.5 that we've already spent moving into garcia right here how much is this guy going for 200 coins not the best in the world heredia i think that's how you pronounce his name is going for around 350 not really any profit there and finally alinga is going for 250 as well so there's not really anything there it's a bit of a bugger but we move over to the badges is there anything in this badge charlton okay it's not bad it's not bad we can at least make a few more coins back and then qpr as well are you going for anything 400 coins 350 not really too much there but you basically get the picture open these silver packs sell the contents of the pack if you can do and then if they don't sell make sure to just keep them in your club all right boys so i've just been and played a friendly game there wasn't really anything friendly about it the guy was playing like it was foot champions and as you'll be able to see 
Some bits and pieces have started to sell on. Our Sissoko has sold on. Very, very nice indeed. Our manager hasn't sold on just yet, but I have full confidence that he will sell on at some point. Either way, though, boys, all these methods work. If they don't work for you, there's still the training to 1 million coin series as well. However, though, boys, that's where I'm going to wrap in this video up. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a massive, massive like on it. Comment down below if you need any help with anything, and then subscribe if you are new. But, 26, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.